Jalen, how do you just explain the way you guys came out those first three series on offense? It seemed like flat, maybe not the energy. Yeah, we came out very slow, uh, not as we wanted to. Uh, we got to come out better, simple as that. And uh, we got to execute things very well. And obviously we didn't today. What was Mario's message to you guys afterward? Obviously not the result you were looking for. I mean, obviously after seeing him through the series, obviously he wanted to push it and say, we got to execute, we got to communicate well, we got to, you know, just execute in general. So that was his main message. You guys did not run the ball, obviously, as well today as you guys have so far yeah. this year. Was it something they were doing, lack of execution, or what do you kind of attribute that to? I mean, you got to give all credit to them. They're a very talented defense. Um, so what they brought to us, you know, caused us trouble. Um, and also we couldn't get the running game going. So it was things on our side as well that we practiced and harped on that we didn't execute today. So I think overall it was on our side, but you gotta give credit to them because they're very talented. Obviously, you know, Jay coming in there in the third quarter, it's a big change to the offense, both kind of not just like on the field, but just like mentally as like a thing. And how did you guys kind of react to that? Like I'm sure, you know, no one came into the game, into the game expecting that. I mean, I trust the coaches to put whoever in that they feel like, and we're gonna trust them. Like we're gonna trust everybody. So when Jay came in, it was an it was an adjustment. But I mean, we see how he executes things. We see how you know he communicates with us as well. So it wasn't a big adjustment, but we trusted everything he said. We trusted all the calls that he made, and we just kept it going. So you t talk about Jake. What makes him a little bit different than Tyler Van Dyke if he communicates a little differently? Is there anything that stands out between the two quarterbacks from the leadership and demeanor? Yeah, they're both uh, very phenomenal uh, quarterbacks. But, um, you know, Jake, you know, more vocal in a sense as, you know, louder. And, um, you know, they all know their stuff. So it wasn't a big difference, but the main thing is that Jake's more vocal in a way. And, you know, we can hear him a little bit, I guess. Did you guys, did you guys talk to uh, Tyler? I mean, were you? What's his, what's his emotional status right now? I guess I could say, I, you know. Um, I mean, Tyler, he just has to believe himself. And we just try to tell him every day, like, you know, just get out your head, you know, play your ball, you know, when you're outside of your head. And for all of us, when we play you like our ball, we, we perform very well. So that's his main message, just gotta get build that confidence back up and just trust the process, basically.